The bottom navigation bar in Flutter works perfectly, but when you navigate from any of the original pages on the main scaffold, your navigation bar disappears. It literally just goes out of existence. You look at apps like Instagram and we can see that the navigation bar does not go away when we switch screens. Well, today's your lucky day because I have three solutions for this. My favorite solution is a beautiful DIY solution created by a developer named Andrea Bizotto on Medium. I hope I pronounced the name right. The normal bottom navigation bar works like you expect. We have a single page that has different screens and when we click on the different icons, we switch to the different screens. The problem with this is since all the screens count as a single page on our main stack, when we push a new page to any of the screens, it covers the entire page and this is not what we want. What Andrea did was create a normal bottom navigation bar in which all the sections are not just normal widgets but are navigators on their own. In that sense, even though we push a new page to any of the screens, we are not pushing to the main stack. We are pushing to one of the navigators which is a different navigator stack from our main stack. In general, all we are doing is having multiple navigation stacks instead of having one main one. And since we have different stacks, we keep our main page alive. We create the scaffold and we set the bottom navigation bars with icons. Before we continue with setting up the widget, let us set up some variables and functions. We create a string that represents our current page, an integer that tells us our current index, a list of strings that would serve as our page keys, and the map object of strings and global keys. Create a function that takes a string as the key of the current page and an integer of its index. We then set the state of the current page to be that string parameter and our select index to our index parameter. We go back to our bottom navigation bar and we set the current index parameter to our select index. And the onTab function should trigger our select tab function where we pass our current key and the index of that page. All that remains is to add a body to our scaffold. Like I said, we need our children to be navigators. We can create a navigator class that takes the global key of navigator state and a string that represents that key. In the build function, we can return a navigator with the key property set to the key class variable. And for the onGenerate route function, we can just return a material page route of the current widget we are on. To know the current widget, we can just query which key we have. To conclude this, while we persist the bottom navigation bar, we are not keeping our pages alive. This means the list view will always reset its scroll offset. To prevent this, we set up a stack of widgets for our main scaffold body, and each child widget will be an offstage widget. So now we have an offstage widget which has a navigator, and that navigator has the correct page. We create a function that returns an offset widget but takes a string key. And that is it. This works perfectly fine. But now we have two more issues. One is that when we click on the back button on Android, it kicks us off the app. And the second one is if we route to another page, clicking on the navigation bar icon for that page does not take us back to the first stack of that screen. To fix the first issue, we wrap our scaffold in a will pop scope widget and on the will pop function, we need to check if popping the current screen will take us off the app. We base our decision making off this boolean. As for the other issue, we need to change what happens in our select tab function. All we need to do is check if our current tab is the same as the clicked on tab. If it is, we pop all the pages till we reach the bottom of the stack. Else, we set the state of our current tab as usual. To be honest, starting this code from the Medium post made the logic way more difficult than it is. Nevertheless, this is amazing. If you want to read the article, check the link in the description below. I also have my code there because there are some routines I decided to leave out of this video. Another solution is to use the custom navigator package from the Dart package website. We add the package to our project, install it, and import it in our project. Use the custom scaffold widget from the package we just imported. Create a scaffold under the custom scaffold widget and add the bottom navigation bar with navigation for every page you want under the scaffold widget. 
you can now add the list of pages in the children property of the custom scaffold widget. This is all we have to do. While this is super easy to implement, I cannot seem to find a way to keep the state of my pages, which is important in applications. Most applications with a bottom nav bar would have a list view and would need to keep the state. This does not work because the package does not take a single widget as its child. We need a list of children, which means every time we pick an icon, we push a new child to the screen and we do not keep the previous state. We just keep changing the page tag and we do not preserve the old versions. If you know a way to actually preserve the state of previous pages using this package, please leave a comment below. Before my last solution, I just want to let you guys know that I now stream consistently on Twitch. My Twitch name is Kick by Kick. I play video games and I program when I feel the project is fun for streaming. Follow my channel. Thank you. The last proposed solution I see a lot is to use the Cupertino scaffold and it is very easy to use. To do this, we just import the Cupertino package. We create a stateless widget, give it any name and return the Cupertino tab scaffold widget. As for the tab bar properties of the scaffold, we give it a Cupertino tab bar and assign different bottom navigation bar items. We set the switch statement to the tab builder in the scaffold and for each index we return the Cupertino tab view of the screen we want. And that is pretty much it. We can navigate from one page to another and we still keep our bottom navigation bar. This works great but as you can imagine on Android, you still get the iOS aesthetic from the Cupertino package. Regardless, we can still use the material page route to push a new page to achieve some Android aesthetics. As you can see, three different methods that work greatly. My favorite is still the first one because I am in control of every single thing. That's the end of the video everyone. Do not forget to leave a comment below. Like the video, share and please subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone.